low back pain could be complicated. You will find no cause for low back pain in about 85% of the patients. Usually, the pain will go away, and in 95% of the patients, their pain will resolve in about three months. In some patients, the pain may be multifactorial or non-organic. The pain also may be referred from another areas like the hip joint, the body, or the sacroiliac joint. The MRI may give us false positives, so study the images carefully. Correlate the images with the patient's history and physical examination. Patient may have red flags that requires further investigation, like the patient may have significant trauma, previous malignancy, severe progressive neurological deficit. Patient may have loss of bladder and bowel, or may have systemic components like fever, chills, weight loss. The pain may also be referred from aortic aneurysm, renal stones, pancreatitis, pelvic diseases, duodenal ulcer, or acute myocardial infarction. So let's exclude all these situations and we end by low back pain that originate from the spine itself. But it is not the simple one. It is complicated. So what are these scenarios? Number one, coda equina. The patient will have more back pain than leg pain, but also bladder and bowel problems, incontinence, frequency, perianal numbness. It could be missed, and the outcome can be catastrophic. When you see a patient, ask the patient if they have bladder or bowel symptoms. And if they do, then you need to do emergency MRI and urgent surgery. That provides the best chance for resolution of the symptoms, especially the bladder. Also, a complicated situation will be if the patient has back pain with progressive neurological deficit. Study why the patient has neurological deficit. If you can't find it in the lower back, find it in the thoracic spine or the neck. Get MRIs. If the patient has a pacemaker, then go ahead and get myelogram with CT. Situation may also be complicated. If the patient has low back pain and gait disturbance, get an MRI of the C-spine. Look for a concomitant cervical myelopathy due to compression of the spinal cord. Careful patient selection is the key for successful outcome, especially in patients with non-specific low back pain. Back pain is the most common workman's compensation claim in the United States, accounting for 25% of all claims and one-third of all total compensation costs. Workman's compensation is an independent risk factor for unsatisfactory outcome after surgical procedure. Workman's compensation patients that are treated surgically have a poorer outcome than the general population. Another situation, if the patient is smoking, because smoking affects the disc nutrition, it also affects the healing of the fusion. Another situation, if the patient have low back pain and enclosing spondylitis, because these patients sometimes have an occult fracture, you can't see it, and they have a higher rate of neuro deficit, and they have a higher mortality rate after surgery. You need to get MRI or CT scan if they have a significant back pain to see that this undiagnosed fracture. And this patient probably will need surgery if there is a fracture. Another situation is low back pain and osteoporotic fracture. Get DEXA scan. Provide medical treatment. In acute fracture, you may want to give the patient a brace or surgery. If you have an older patient with a lot of pain, get an x-ray because you may find an osteoporotic compression fracture. Another problem is depression. 
Depression have a negative effect on the outcome after surgery. Another problem is the patient will need anticoagulation after surgery. There's a risk benefit, and the filter may be useful in that situation. If the patient has neurogenic claudication, low back pain with heaviness and cramps of the calf, and sitting to relieve the pain, then the patient probably have lumbar stenosis. You get an MRI, it will show you the problem, and the patient will benefit from surgery on the spine. Neurogenic claudication, it pain, heaviness in one or both legs. The pain increased with upright position, relieved with sitting down or leaning forward. And the situation is worse if you have associated vascular claudication. You will need vascular consult and maybe vascular surgery. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.